Hi there, welcome back to part two of The Geek Show. Uh, right, continuing straight on, because we've got a lot to fit in this week, with our YouTube high quality special. Uh, I've done a little bit of research and found out that YouTube are recommending that you post up in, using DivX or XVID format in an MPEG-4 container at 640 by 480 resolution, 640K mono or 120K stereo MP3 audio. Now, if your music's important, go for the stereo. If your video's important and it's just a voiceover, go for the mono and get that extra little bit of bit rate out uh, to make sure that your video looks great. They, of course, recommend 30 frames a second. Uh, coming from PAL Video Land here in New Zealand, I quite often shoot at 25 frames a second. So that works just fine as well and also gives you that extra little bit of crispness. Um, and still looks pretty good, pretty close to the 24 frames a second that films shot at. Also, given that I know what the high quality settings are, I'm now uploading it 480 by 360 using the Sony H.264 codec or the X264 free version. And I'm using a free piece of software called Super, which includes this codec to do my encoding. Download it from here get it running, and then set it up with these settings. Then when you upload and move on to the next stage of embedding these videos in, at high quality, you're getting the highest quality that YouTube can deliver, and you're using the smallest amount of your own bandwidth getting it there. The next stage is embedding those YouTube videos in your blog or your website. Now, it's a variant of adding and FMT equals 18 like we showed you before, but within the code, that you embed in your website that you can see on the screen here, you'll find that and FMT equals 18 doesn't quite work. You need a little bit of bizarre coding to kind of put this in place. So you just add this string here at the end of your code in the two places shown and make sure that your display resolution is set to 480 pixels by 385. The reason why this isn't 360 is this is to allow an extra 25 pixels for the play bar at the bottom. You must make sure that this is in both places within the embed code. Now when you preview your blog, you'll see a perfectly sized 480 by 360 clip at high quality playing with the H.264 codec at 512 kilobits and looking sweet.